Welcome back to Cooking in College, the show that teaches you how to make delicious, easy, and affordable meals. I'm your host, Paige. Today, we're making an Italian dish, chicken parmesan with um, rotini. So first, we just want to wash our hands. That's always what we do in the kitchen. And we're going to start with our sauce. It's going to be super easy and very flavorful. So we're going to take a nice, deep pot, and we're going to put some traditional sauce in, as much as you pretty much think would be good for whoever you're making. And we're just going to pour it in there. We're going to pretty much slow cook this so that all the flavor can get everywhere. Just put, we're putting a whole, how many ounces is this? We're putting a pound in, a pound eight ounces. And a little trick, let me give you this little trick that actually Lindsay taught me. If you run a little bit of water and you put it in there, you can get more sauce out. So more for your money. That's what we like here. <laughs> And there it goes. So I'm actually going to put uh, one and a half of these saucepans. That's good. Ooh. And we're going to just turn the heat to about medium high and just let that start, you know, warming up. And we're going to put some garlic. Take two cloves of garlic. And we're going to take our knife and just smash it to kind of open it up so we can get the shelling off. And then I'll just open it up to the core. It smells nice. And we're just going to finely chop this garlic. It doesn't even have to be too much. We're just trying to spread the flavor, the garlic flavor, throughout the sauce. Because, I mean, the sauce, you could use it just exactly how it is. But I just like to add some extra flavor so it's not, you know, too just traditional. So we're taking our cloves of garlic, and you're just going to finely chop them. We're not going to mince them or get too much in there because they're just going to cook up pretty nice and get the flavor and you get to smell the garlic from here. You'll want to pop in some mince after you eat this. <laughs> okay, so now we're just going to take <clears throat> we took our shells off. We're just going to take our garlic, <clears throat> open up our pot and just plop the garlic in there. You want to be sure too that you keep the lid on because this will start shooting everywhere. And we're going to take a spoon and just stir the garlic up in there so it can get a nice flavor. And we're going to add some more seasoning to it too. We're going to just take, if you have traditional Italian seasoning, that works. Um, we're going to use that, but we're also going to use some oregano, if I can find it, where are you? Some oregano and the Italian seasoning. <clears throat> and I would say maybe about a tablespoon of Italian seasoning and probably about another tablespoon of oregano. It's really to your flavor which one or how much of each you would like to put in there. And again, we're just going to stir it all nice up and just let the flavors kind of marinate. That's why we're going to slow cook it so that they can just soak it all in. And now, I'm just going to leave it like so. Okay, now we're going to start on our chicken. So we're going to take a saucepan like, like so, a skillet, and put it up to about medium-high heat and put some olive oil in there. You can cook with um, canola oil or any kind of oil, really, but we're going to cook with olive oil. Get a nice flavor of olive oil. And you really want to coat the bottom of the pan with olive oil. <clears throat> and we're going to let that heat up, and while that's heating up, we're going to make our chicken parmesan mixture. So you're going to be using um, breadcrumbs. You can use Italian seasoned breadcrumbs or plain breadcrumbs. It really is up to you. And eggs. So we are going to take two eggs and we're, we're making four chicken breasts. You can use more eggs, but we only had two, so we're using two. But two should really be enough. Um, you don't need too much eggs. And then we're going to take 
pork, and we're just gonna beat up the eggs all nice. This is just to get like a nice coat um, on the chicken breast so that when you put it in the breadcrumbs, the breadcrumbs will stick to it and not fall off. So we're just gonna beat that egg. And then we're gonna bring our chicken. Let me rinse my hands a little bit. And then we're going to put in breadcrumbs in one. And it's kind of like a little assembly line that you're going to have going on here. So we have just some plain breadcrumbs from leftover. And then we also have Italian um, style breadcrumbs. And the difference is that Italian, the Italian style has seasoning on it, whole mixed within it. So it adds some extra kind of flavor. All right, so... We're going to go ahead, and you want to dip it in the eggs first, and then the breadcrumbs. Okay, so we're going to take it like this, I'm all over the place, and just kind of wash it in the eggs, plop it in the breadcrumbs, and you really want to get it kind of in there so that the breadcrumbs get all up in there, if you want it nice and crispy. And then we're going to go ahead and place it on our pan. And this looks like it can fit two at a time. So we're going to go ahead and make two. Funny story, um, seventh grade is when I learned how to make this from my friend Christian, actually, in home ec class. He taught me how to make chicken parmesan. And I've made it the way he told me ever since. And it's delicious. Okay, so we're just going to put this in here. And as it heats up even more, um, the oil will start sizzling. Well, you can kind of hear it now. And we're just going to let those cook and um, kind of brown the breadcrumbs. Okay, so once they've browned on both sides, you're going to put them on um, a cookie sheet. And we preheated our oven to 375 degrees because we're going to be cooking them. Obviously, because the chip, we can't leave them on the pan for so long or else the breadcrumbs will burn. So we have to put them in the oven so that they will cook all the way through. But before we put them in the oven, we have some final steps that, well, I'll leave this here, that we need to go through. Which is putting on our sauce. So you just want to take your spoon, and as you can see, it's shooting everywhere. And you just want to stir it up. And yeah, we're going to move this in. Now we're just going to take a spoonful of sauce and lay it over each chicken breast. And we're going to be putting mozzarella cheese over this. And you just put it in the oven for a little bit. And it also it melts the cheese and gets it all nice and toasty. So, and that one can probably get a little bit more. All right, so now we're going to just go ahead and put these in the oven. Oh, just kidding. I almost forgot the cheese. We're going to put the cheese on. And we're using mozzarella cheese. You can use um, Italian-style cheese or mozzarella cheese. And we like them nice and cheesy. So we're just going to take, like, a handful of cheese and put it on top of the sauce. And then we're going to just let it cook in there. And while these are cooking, we're going to make our pasta. So while we're cooking up the chicken parmesan, we're going to be cooking our rotini. So we have a pot of boiling water. And we're just going to pour in. We're going to do about a box and a half, which would be 18 ounces. Get it in there, and we're going to go ahead and give it a nice little stir, and we'll go ahead and put just a little bit of salt in there, just a pinch, sprinkle it around, and we're just going to let that cook up while the chicken cooks up, and then we'll mix it all together. Okay, so our pasta is finished, so we're going to go ahead and drain it out. And we're just going to go ahead and dump this into our sauce. We're just going to be hot. Just going to go ahead and dump it in there. 
and just stir it all around so we can get the sauce all covering the rotini. Mm, nice and saucy. Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead. All our chicken has finished cooking. And we're just going to go ahead and grab a piece off. And we, we went ahead and used foil so that the cleanup is much easier. And then I'm just going to take some of this nice saucy rotini. And the chicken took about, I'd say, 10 minutes to cook all together while the pasta was cooking. And we're just going to add some cheese. If you, you know, you like your Parmesan, whatever kind of cheese. I'm just going to add some extra mozzarella because I like it cheesy. Whoops, drop some. And there we go. We have our nice Italian dish. Thank you for watching. This is Cooking in College with Paige.